Hey there, it's Jenny, and I am here today with you for a memory planner layout. I am thrilled with the first couple of weeks of 2024, and I cannot wait to do another one this week with you. I am mostly going to be using layered stencils from Pink Fresh, which I have never ever used before. So today is the day. I have some printed photos that I printed on my Epson PictureMate printer. I used the Pick Frame app to create the collages to print four photos on one four by six photo. And then I'm just trimming them up with this Tim Holtz and Tonic trimmer, which by the way, I've decided that I really do love a lot. I used to use the Canon Selfie for printing all of my photos. It is also an outstanding printer. The Epson just now fits my needs a little bit better. I like to start by laying my photos in an order that makes sense to me. I like to try to keep the photos on the day that they happened. However, some of these, it's not imperative, but if I can, I do. It just makes sense to me. I also love to layer photos on top of one another. I think that it's just fun. I think it looks interesting that way. And so I do it on weeks where there are a lot of photos. As you can see, I am messing with my adhesive and just decided I not, I don't know. I just, I don't even know what to tell you about my adhesive. I was afraid my Scotch ETG would run out and then the other one was messed up too and just a thing today, you know? Anywho, so we are sticking down the photos and I've got a lot of them from outside because this particular rain week, it rained a lot at my house, which it doesn't usually rain hardly ever. And so it was fairly noteworthy. So that is what was going on this particular week. My husband and my oldest son traveled too. And so there's a little bit of that in there as well. Now I'm breaking out my good old circle punch I used to use this bad boy a lot several years ago, and then I've gotten away from it a little bit, which is a shame because it really is great and I love the way that it looks. I need to get back into that. I should not have stuck that photo down there because I am going to trim a sheet of this American Crafts paper of just a hair smaller than two inches wide. I'm gonna use that to cover up that pre-printed stuff on the left hand side. This is a big happy planner from the 2017 Happy Memory Keeping Collection, so it's crazy old. And I had it in my stash, so I decided I was gonna use it because I wanted to go back to a big happy planner, and I'm fairly happy with the paper quality in this book, but I'm not loving the stuff on the sidebar. All right, so these stencils, never used something like this before. There's four in the package that go, they go together, and each one opens a different area. So I'm gonna use my Distress Oxides to color these. In this section, I'm doing the yellow, the green, and the blue, and on the other page, I will do the red and the orange. I have sped this up significantly. Otherwise, we would be here a very long time watching me smear inks. Now, you can see on the very first one, I got some ink outside the stencil. Pretty annoyed about that but I work it out. I'm also using post-it notes or sticky notes to mask off areas that I don't want to get ink. So photos or some of like the punched marks, things like that, or boxes that don't, shouldn't get like, so for example, like that far right box, I would want it to be purple, not blue. So I'm, you know, masking it off or whatever. And so the sticky notes work great for that. And I'm genuinely, I am not just saying this, loving this so much. So if you see me doing this in the future, it's because I love it. Absolutely, truly love it. This is crazy fun, guys, like this blending of inks. I now know why card makers do this because it's a good time. Like it was really enjoyable. I felt really creative. I really enjoyed myself. I'm gonna keep saying really because I want you to know how much I loved it. Anyway, it was super fun. The thing about the washi tape holding the stencils, I need to remember to not reuse washi. 
I used it, get some ink on it. Yeah, then I just smear the ink everywhere. So I need to just pitch it. Now I'm cleaning off the stencils and I'm just using the spray that I used to clean my stamps and the same microfiber towel that I used to clean my stamps because I figured that if these were stamps, I would clean them with that stuff. So it worked great. Now I need to line this all up because A, I need to layer the stencils in the same place over and over and over again. And then I need to figure out where I want the triangles to go in this little area. So I don't have a ton of room. And in hindsight, I wish that I would have placed the stencil more to the left, like maybe all the way the edge of the stencil touching the right hand side of the paper, like where the punches are, and then gotten more red and not quite so much orange. But I mean, it still looks cute in the end. I look forward to you seeing it when I'm all finished here in a second. But again, masking with sticky notes, using the washi to hold the mask in place so that I can kind of just focus on blending out that ink, which I'm not trying to be really super specific about because I'm not trying to like blend beautiful florals. This is a really geometric pattern on a memory planning layout. So I didn't feel like it was crazy important for them to be like super blended really well. But I... I already said this, but this was really fun. So if you've ever considered it, man, oh man, this is a good time. I will link up the inks, the stencils, and the brushes that I used in case you're interested. I was very happy with all of them. So I know sometimes you're like, oh, I, you know, I need a good, did you actually like this? Yes, I actually really liked it a lot. I thought it was fun. And like I said, if I can fit it in time-wise, I will be doing this more. And I will definitely be going to the Acheria Top shop to look for more layered stencils that can be used in projects that I do. Like some of the floral lay layered stencils are beautiful. I probably don't have time to add that type of card making to my lineup at this time. So you see, I got that smudge down there between underneath the green and blue. I'm just gonna place this washi tape that goes with the patterned paper collection, which is called Whatevs. I'm gonna put that down there. All right, so I accidentally deleted the section where I put down all of those alphabet stickers. My apologies, did not mean to delete that, but I did. And so here we are, we're just gonna move forward. I love those Bella Boulevard alphabet stickers, their letter scrambles, so many colors, great fonts, love them, really versatile. I stamped a car little icon right below that basketball stadium. Is it a stadium, arena, whatever. I'm going to use it as a bullet point for writing the activity right there. I've gotten kind of away from writing all of the things in this planner. I do journaling and then I do like, oh, we went to this, we did this, those types of things. Obviously, it's on a week by week basis. I do what feels good. Now, I'm going to do some more icon stamping as well. I love this Everyday Explorer stamp set that I use in my planner a ton. And so I wanted to break it out to use the little airplane icon so I could stamp my husband traveling for the weekend. And as you can see right there, I wrote that he was returning as well because I love tracking that, like, oh, trips and things like that. It, it seems very, very cool. All right, so I'm gonna clean the stamps off so that I can move forward with the journaling and all of those things. Now I am going to use, that was a glitter Papermate flare pen. I can link those up for you below. They're actually really cool. The tip can get kind of out of shape though, which I mean like it splays out. So it's really, you know, whatever, but they're really cool. So I'm using my good old We Are Memory Keepers mat to draw my lines. Again, I've told you guys before, but I love this thing. And I'm just using pencil today. I felt like with the triangles, that was just a lot already going on. So I didn't want to add any lines today. I guess maybe I'm just not in my lines era, but that's all right. All right, so these are nice, normal Papermate flare pens. I wanted to have the journaling match the color for the day. So obviously, in case I haven't already said it, I'm doing a rainbow layout. And I started with pink, then I went to red, then orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So I wanted to use those colors to do the little sections of journaling since I wasn't going to be like using two boxes wide to do journaling. I was just going to be using one box for different little sections. So... I 
I periodically change up what I do in this planner, my regular planners, in basically everything. I am a changer. I like to do things differently. And then I also like to flip back through old projects so I can see like, oh yeah, I should bring that back. I should start doing that again. But it's one of the things that keeps this hobby and all of my hobbies and interests still interesting to me. So it's definitely a good way to keep it flowing. So I'm just going to write this last little bit of journaling and then erase the lines. And that is it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment box below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you so much and make it a great day.